Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be cooking a lamb roast low and slow. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate. Slap that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. All right, now don't forget everything I use in the video today. There will be links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products. Make sure you check those out. So as I said, at the beginning of the video, what we're gonna be doing is a lamb roast low and slow. Now, lamb is a very particular meat. You've gotta cook it slow. You don't wanna be drying out. I'm gonna show you how I prepare my lamb before I get it on there and what I actually do when I'm cooking it. Now, what we're gonna do with this meat, it's a one and a half kilo roast and we're gonna cook in it roughly for about an hour and a half. I'm gonna have it on a medium setting for the first 20 minutes, and then I turn it down to a low setting to keep it at around 150 degrees. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Well, so as normal, we're gonna set our queue up. Now to cook this roast, we're gonna to have to set it up with a convection system. But what you'll need are some convection trays, and you'll need a trivet. Now, now I will put links in the description below of where you can actually get these from and the best place to get them. So what we'll do is zoom in and set it up with the convection system. Once right, so we've got our cube preheated for 10 minutes, so while that's preheating, we'll start preparing our meat. So first up for our lamb, we're gonna cut some cloves of garlic just into slithers. And then we'll get our lamb out. So today we're going to be using a bonus shoulder of lamb. So we're just going to open this. Then what we're going to do is just put some slits in the lamb. And we're going to slide our garlic in. I'm just going to flip that and do the other side. Now we've got them slithers into our lamb, we're just going to put some olive oil over it and some seasoning. So we're just going to baste it with some olive oil. We're going to do this on both sides. And this is just for our herbs and salt and pepper to stick. Two tablespoons of thyme and rosemary. So we're just going to sprinkle some of that over. And then we'll just turn that over and do the other side. So our queue's nice and hot, so it's time to get this on the queue. Right, it's been on 20 minutes, so we're just gonna baste it with some olive oil and the herbs. Okay. We'll come back in 20 minutes and give it a little bit Oh, 
running an hour and a half now. We're sitting around 150 degrees. So you can see, and you can see on the Ordinal 3, that's sitting at around 59, 60 degrees now. So we've got another 60 degrees until we take it off. Right, so that's been on 90 minutes now, and it's just hit 60, 60 degrees, as you can see on the Ordinal 3. So because we've been basting it, that's kept that nice and moist. So just pull that Ordinal 3 probe out. And then we'll take this. And rest it in the corner. We're just going to tent that. Let that meat rest and relax. All right, so our meat's been resting for about 10 minutes now, and you can see all those juices are releasing. That meat is relaxing, and it smells divine. So what we'll do is start getting this cut up and plated up. You can see all those meat juices have released. So that meat's well relaxed, so we'll just cut a bit off. And you see that that is literally falling apart. I mean, look at it, it's so moist. So low and slow is the way to go. So a bit of a taste test. Clip it off. This is the end. Mm. Moist, tender, absolutely beautiful. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you found it really informative. And as you can see, it's a simple recipe to follow. Um, the roasted garlic in that meat just tastes absolutely beautiful. The meat came out really moist and tender. You can do this with a leg of lamb or you can do it with a shoulder. I used a boneless shoulder and it turned out absolutely awesome. Make sure you check out the links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipe will be down there as well. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. For those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content and contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. And you can do this with your lamb, you can do this with a roast leg. Or right, so our meat's been resting for 10 minutes now. So, and it just smells divine.